Yep, we look cool, man. Tell you what, pick these suckers up off of Amazon for $22. Some Cast King glasses. They're polarized lenses. Now, I'm not trying to sell you this. I have been, uh, nothing to do. You know, I'm not in the bed with Cast King. You know what I mean? But I lost my other pair of glasses. Did pick these up off of Amazon, and I was pretty impressed with it. This case itself right here is probably like 10 bucks. So you figure $20 for the glasses. It comes with all this stuff. If you had to buy a case for your glasses, probably like 10 bucks for a case like this. Probably like $3 for this here. So that's like 13 bucks, you know. And so that pretty much leaves these glasses to be $7. And I can tell you, they're better than a $7 pair of glasses. These suckers are nice. They have four different color lenses. This one's for low light conditions, cloudy to low light, and uh, I've been really liking them. And with this brown lens, you're able to see and penetrate into the water. So, you know, when you're out there, you're wading in the water, you don't want to step on a big snapper. You want to be able to see what's coming after you when you're out there. So, I feel safe with these suckers. But they are nice. They're made of uh, some material that they use in the military. I don't know. They're pretty bendy, but I'm not going to sit here and bend them. They are very lightweight, and uh, I like it because this could clip right onto your bag. So when you don't want to wear the glasses, you put them away. And look at this. even has this little rotating hinge. I mean, this thing swivels every which way. So I thought that was cool. It's very important to protect your eyes during the summertime. I know you guys want to sit there putting Playboy Bunny stickers on your belly buttons and tanning to get a little Playboy Bunny tan. Listen, guys, you can't be doing that, all right? I mean, protect yourself. Put some sunscreen on and, uh, you know, you'll be around to live a lot longer. And not only that, you know, it's going to keep you younger looking. You know, a lot of these girls like to get out there in the sun and it looks all cute and stuff like that. But when you're like 40 years old, 50 years old, you're going to have all these crazy wrinkles and you're going to look like a piece of leather. And the old bun's going to be out here, you know, looking forever young. So, but anyway, that's not what today's video is about. Figure, you know, it's been a while, man. i got to get videos coming, you know. Uh, got these. they just been sitting in the room. So we're going to go through these suckers. I actually forgot about these and they uh, came like a week and a half ago. And totally forgot about these. But apparently when these things shipped, they got returned and shipped back again. When it came in the mail, you know, because the girls always like, oh, here you go again, order and stuff. I'm like, I don't know what they are. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, once I seen it, I was like, oh, wow. I'm glad that these things came to the house because I totally forgot about them. But let's get to them, check them out, see what we got in here. Alright, so first thing on Amazon, picked up these tube jigs. Now you get 20 jigs to a case here. So we got the 1 8 ounce and then the quarter ounce. And got these on the Amazon. They were 10 bucks. They seem pretty decent. Um, I was out last week throwing these around. These are the Guggen's Amazing Baits tube. I wanted to try their tubes. They're pretty similar in size to the Strike King coffee tube. And they're actually pretty good. They're pretty salty. They're a nice looking tube. They have some pretty nice colors. Uh, I honestly think that the tubes are pretty darn good. They're very salty. Nice flake. Let me show you one that's not as beat up. You can really see the, the flake a little bit better. There you go. So very nice flake. Nice looking tube and... They're pretty affordable. I think for under like three bucks, you can get these tubes. Now, I have a lot of different tubes, but I got to say, these are pretty good. There is no scent on it, but, I mean, you could do your own thing. It is a tube. You could add scent into there, but just wanted to show you these. These were on Amazon, and I'm pretty impressed. I think the hooks are pretty decent. Here you go. This is the uh, quarter ounce. Just a fine looking hook right there. They're pretty sharp. As you can see, it will scratch the nail. So, so a lot of times uh, tube jigs are expensive. Or when you can find them, they have like the brass hook, which isn't really a problem. But, you know, this you could really set the hook and not have to worry. So, pick that up. Now, let's get into the Shop Carl stuff. Now, there was a pretty good sale on the Guggen jigs, you know? I think they were, like, half off on Guggen baits or something like that. 
and uh, for you that don't know, maybe some of you think I don't like Ugin, but uh, that's not the case. Um, because I have a video on the channel talking about why I don't fish Guggen baits, why I haven't. And that was when they first came out with their soft plastics. They made them so soft that, you know, they would just rip being pulled through the weeds and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I didn't really like that. But even they themselves realized it was a problem. They went and they toughened it up. I did fish the bandita bug. Uh, over the weekend, and it did just fine. I caught a bass on it. Everything was fine with it. Had a good bite. I pulled it really hard that the jig or that the bait came out of the water and went boink right behind me. Checked the bait. It was still good. I did end up losing it on a snag. Couldn't get another fish on it, but very first cast with it, bam, fish grabbed it. But this color is rotten pumpkin. I could tell you that without looking. It is a very nice looking jig. They are hand tied. They put the weights on the bottom. Now I got doubles of everything. And a 3 16th ounce and a quarter ounce. So this one's Rotten Pumpkin. They have a great bait keeper on here. It is the lead bait keeper with the little wire. And this is a Mustad hook. Great weed guard. I believe I flared this one out. I was playing around with it. But, uh, really, I mean, it's a good little juicy jig. You know, throw this in, in some cover, sparse cover. It's very little. You know, when a bite gets tough, it could be a great thing to do. And if you are just getting into throwing jigs, it's always better to start small. Don't go out and get a big, heavy flipping jig because it's going to be hard to set the hook. You want to be able to detect the bite and know when to set it, you know. So this isn't, you know, anything crazy. You could set the hook no problem on a medium heavy spinning rod, you know. So I picked up a couple different colors. This is their green pumpkin. You know what, should I take them out? Uh, yeah, I'll just take uh, one of every color out. They got to come out of the case anyway. So that is their green pumpkin. Really nice because they do match the weed guard with the different uh, colors here. Green pumpkin. Black and blue is always a great one. Pretty much green pumpkin and black and blue and maybe a peanut butter and jelly and or a Texas crawl and you're pretty much covered. That's their black and blue. I do think it would have been cool if they would have thrown a little bit of blue up in here and into the strands here. It seems like they do you know, mix the color of the skirts in their weed guards. So I think it would have been cool to at least have two blue ones in here. But very nice. We've seen a rotten pumpkin. Their bluegill pattern is like one of my favorites when it comes to their swim jigs and their spinner baits. And that sunset crawl is really nice too. But that is a awesome bluegill pattern. I always liked this colorway. When they first came out with their jigs and stuff, uh, and their swim jigs and spinner baits. This was always my favorite one, the bluegill one. It just looks really good. And you can see they have these things like really like tuned up for you. Now I do like to just trim these and stagger them to, to make it look a little rough so it's not as even. You know, if you put them all together, it's quite even. So I do like to stagger them a bit, but they're pretty much ready to go out of the box. So, picked up quite a few of these jigs, and they're pretty damn nice. And then on Shop Carl's, they had some nice hooks for, like, dirt cheap. These are the owner mesquite hooks. Could use them as a wacky rig or a drop shot. But very nice. So, two packs to size one. And then we got two packs of larger size one-aughts. And you get seven. I mean, look at that point. That is a vicious point right there. The mesquite hooks always will bend in like that at point, like a mosquito. But very nice. It's very important not to cheap out on your terminal tackle, you know, especially your hooks. And then picked up the uh, wacky Nico hooks here from Mustad. And these are pretty nice because they also have like that Teflon coating on them. Let's pull one out so I can show you. But yeah, I believe that these might have even been like a dollar a pack. I was like, wow, that's not bad at all. I forget the price, but 
I know it wasn't that much if I bought it. But you can see, very nice sticky hook. My hands look like crap. There we go. All right, and uh, now we'll go on to the next box. From the bargain bin, these were like a dollar. The little Kalen crappy jigs here, or uh, crappy grubs. You can see it's a little paddle tail action. Throw it on a little little jig head there, and you're uh, pretty good to go. A little trout magnet head, or a uh, crappy magnet, whatever. But that definitely was not a bad deal. And a lot of them panfish and stuff like that, they really like the chartreuse color. So you can catch a whole bunch. Especially in the creeks, you know, the red breast sunfish. Which is a very pretty fish. They love biting these suckers. I've never fished with this, but just a chartreuse, you know, a little power tail grub. Like the Berkeley power bait stuff. I fish those and freaking they demolish them, so... For three bucks, not bad at all. And uh picked this up because I wanted to. It looks really good. Uh, I had this before when it first came out and I snagged it. And I still actually have two of the smaller bodies. I do have the, the larger size one. But you can see here, really nice. You know, it is a search bait. I was uh, fishing it wrong. I kept yo-yoing it off the bottom and got it snagged. And, uh, you know, you just really want to cast this, retrieve it. You could hop it around, but if you get it on the bottom, there's a chance you could lose it, you know. And it's one that you really don't want to lose because it does fit these pretty good. There is a rattle inside the head. You could hear that. And the action on this thing's really good. You could catch uh, crappy perch, walleye bass, uh, musky. I mean... It is a multi-species bait. A lot of stuff will bite a minnow like this. It looks really good. This color is called Heron. And uh, these were a dollar. I regret not grabbing more of these back then. When uh, I put these in the cart, there was only two left on the store. So I should be just happy that I got those two. But it's a 516th uh, Baby Advanced Texas Crawl or something. But you can see, really nice. I like how the line tie is, uh, you know, built into the lead there. That's a perfect uh, bait keeper there. That thing's pretty stout. Pretty jagged. Nice hook on here. Nice weed guard and the color. I love this color. I have some uh, Booyah Baby Boo jigs in this color. And it, I really love this color. There is a video on my channel where I was fishing uh, the baby boo jig in this collar. And it was, as soon as I cast it out, it hit the water, going out, bass, bass, bass. It was good. Picked up two packs of the Lucky John Yoga. Uh, you know, this sucker is injected with mackerel scent. It has an explosive injection of uh, taste and scent. They're really nice. Green pumpkin. I like the Lucky John Tackles. I did go on to their website. It seems like they are more of like a, uh, I would say maybe a walleye, perch, and musky type of company. From the way their baits look, they had a lot of, you know, bright colors and like a lot of walleye looking baits. Very nice, you know. The plastic feels really good. It feels pretty tough. And it looks like it's going to have a great action. They do definitely have a, a nice scent that uh, I like. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, two packs of those. Picked up a couple packs of the swim baits here. We got three packs of the Houdini collar, which is a very nice collar. These are Shop Carl's Amazing Baits. And they're like three bucks. And they're good. These are like the Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper. Or like the Big Bite. Not the big bite baits, the uh, striking uh, coffee shads. But you can see that Houdini color, it looks really good. It's like a watermelony pearl on the bottom here with some copper flake, some red flake, black flake. 
I mean, these have no salt in them, but they're very soft. You can see they may not even sell all that well. The tail is a little kinked, but that's not going to be a problem. If they're ever kinked, you can boil some water, dip it in there. But I'm going to just fish this how it is, and I think it'll do just fine. So I picked up three packs of the Houdini. And you do get 10 in a pack, and I believe they're like under 3 bucks. They have two sizes. This is the 3-inch, and then I think they have a 5-inch or something like that. Or 4-inch. The Watermelon Red Flake. Really freaking nice. So I really like these. They're really easy to travel with. You don't have to worry about a clamshell. They're very great for trailers, fishing by themselves, and they're easy to store in your bag or in your pocket. And you can just freaking really beat these things up and not really worry about it. You can use them as carelessly as you want because they're not really expensive, you know. You can get up in the dirty stuff. And then uh, we got some more of the big bite baits here. This was in a clearance bin. Uh, last time I got like this pretty cool blue color. This time we got the white color, which I really like that. You know, it is a nice shad profile. Even though it says saltwater series, that's not going to matter. Because they have a freshwater series that's the same exact mold. So, they even got the uh, fortified bite juice on there. But with this bait, you would just put a jig head in here with the hook exposed. And it's going to have a good belly roll as it swims. Its belly's going to be rocking and the tail is going to be going like that. Perfect shad profile. Not something that the fish see all the time. So you can really do some stuff with this. Especially too, going for stripers. You could dip the tip and some chartreuse spike it. Or even the tail. I mean, whatever color you want. You could even take a marker and put the top black. If you wanted to. Make it look like, uh, you know, like a shiner shad. And then we got the Booyah, or not the Booyah, the Buddha Bait Company, the 4-inch Baby Mama. And these are really cool looking. I kind of regret not getting some more of these, because I think these are going to be pretty good. I mean, that is a cool profile, and these things reek so strong of garlic. It is a nice plastic. You can see, this plastic's really soft. There's no salt in it. It might, these may even float up. Now, this isn't going to be one of the baits that has a ton of action. It's not meant to have a ton of action, but on a jig, when you're working it, these things are going to move, you know, with the current, the water, and stuff like that. But it's not going to be, uh, like, flapping like a rage crawl. Now, maybe if you swim it, these things might get it moving and start flapping, but this is just a punch in the stuff, you know. It's really the profile that you're uh, drawing them in with. And there is so much scent on this. It is pretty freaking wild. I think that is everything. I'm sure I'm probably missing something. Because this video, I did a couple attempts here. You know, I didn't like it. re record didn't like it. Now it's getting kind of late. So, I'm sure I probably forgot something. And uh, for you guys that made it to the end, we got a giveaway here. We got the box. This is what we're going to do. Right, because I think these are great and I want you to try them. So, there we go. I'm gonna get some of those suckers now. Hang tight with me. All right, this may be a little longer. We're gonna give you one of these. Why not? Right, and some big bite baits. Yo, mama, I really love this color. I don't know what this color is, but let me just show you real quick because it's cool. I got a lot of these things. Uh, my Dick Sporting Goods, like, a year or two ago, had these suckers on sale for, like, a dollar. We can see it has some purple up in there. The green, pretty much like a watermelon red flake. Mixed with some purple. And then it almost looks like neon black on the back. But in the water, all this stuff's gonna shine really good. I'm not sure how good the light's pulling through. Alright, so I'm gonna throw in a pack of these. And you know why we're gonna throw in a pack of these? Because you could use these on the back of a jig. Because I have a plan on giving you guys a jig here. Yep. We'll give you a green pumpkin juicy jig here. Compare that. Or I'm sure you have some plastics of your own. So you could put on there. And let's get you a black and blue one. 
here you go a black and blue juicy jig so you got that covered in case you really want to get jiggy with it hold on there you go the dnl tackle jigs and uh gonna hook you up with one of these guys here well two of them now this pack is open because i'm gonna make sure i'm giving you the one i do a little modification to it and uh i think it's important that you do it too if you have these or if you want to get them or or whatever the situation is now in here is a plastic cap right here that has a rattle you may or may or may not be able to hear that but i'll spread these cheeks apart put some liquid super glue in there and then you know when it dries up it closes because without gluing these the cheeks here will start it, it tears and it gets all nasty looking so that's going to make it last a lot longer but this is cool this is the berkeley agent he has a monofilament or a fluorocarbon little weed guard here you know it's kind of like a little bubble but it won't get in the way you might have to bend that over there a bit straighten it out but it won't get in the way of your hook sets you know because when a fish bites it it just gets up out of the way there so got these now this you're gonna kind of fish like a jig as well on the bottom you know crawl along the bottom hop it fish it however you want to fish it what's going on here All right, so we're going to throw that in there. What else are we going to put in here? What do we got in here so far? Just a little giveaway to give back. Um, you know what? Let's put one of those in there. In case you want to, you know, go fishing with the kid. You know. You could hook him up. He could catch a panfish. Well, mom and dad could be out there busy freaking catching a bass. Unless the little one wants to catch a bass, too. But, that's it. If I find anything else to throw in here, I'll throw it in there. But, uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Now, if you want anything that you see in here, or you want a chance to win the box, just put at the end of your comment. Just be like, sweet. Don't put no hashtag, because... I don't want somebody to come along and see the hashtags and just know it's a giveaway. This is only for the guys that watch all of the video, you know. So, just put that, you know. And, uh, I'll do the drawing in my next video or in a couple of days, you know. No more than five days from the time this is uploaded. So, hope you guys enjoyed, man. I'm glad it's freaking summer. I'm pretty whooped today, man. I'm freaking tired tonight. So, I'm gonna wrap this up. Get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, peace out.